CNN Headline News, I'm Lynn Vaughn. And finally, it hasn't been around as long as upset stomachs, but the antacid Alka-Seltzer turns 60 years old today. The one-inch tablet began as a home remedy given to sick employees by a newspaper editor in Elkhart, Indiana. It has since been the subject of such classic TV ads as Plop, Plop, Fizz, Fizz, and I Can't Believe I Ate the Whole Thing. We'll have the latest on the Terry Anderson release coming up for you in just two minutes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lynn Vaughn. Around the world in 30 minutes, this is CNN Headline News. Colleen Williams. Jess Morrow. Fritz Coleman Weather. Fred Rogan, Sports. And David Sheehan, Entertainment. Channel 4 News, number one in Southern California. It's a happy birthday to a product that's actually become a piece of Americana. We'll uh, take a look at that coming up next. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. We all know what that means. And as Joe Rico now reports, Alka-Seltzer, the company that brought us Speedy, actually turns 60 today. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. More colds, flus, headaches, tummy aches, muscle aches, and Major League hangovers have squared off with the one-two punch of Alka-Seltzer since it came on the market back in 1931 during the Great Depression. At last count, more than 100 billion effervescent tablets have rolled off the assembly line in Elkhart, Indiana. Try it, you'll like it. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. While its principal aim was pain relief, its classic commercials and diminutive spokesmen did more. They entertained. The humor caught on like wildfire. Forget the pain, people thought. These commercials are great stuff for the funny bones. And so, a bit of Americana was born. No matter what shape your stomach's in, when it gets out of shape, take Alka-Seltzer. Let's face it, the American public consumed the advertising almost as much as they consumed the product. Plop, plop. This is, oh, what a relief it is. <laughs> Alka-Seltzer was born from a homespun remedy in 1928. An Indiana newspaper editor, of all people, concocted a mixture of aspirin, bicarbonate of soda, and lemon juice. He fed it to his ailing employees during a massive flu epidemic and relief. He showed his remedy to the chairman of a pharmaceutical company who ran with the idea and ran to the bank several times since. But perhaps the biggest boost came with the introduction of a four foot six inch actor named Dick Beals. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief. Speedy changed my life because at age 24, I was suddenly a corporate spokesman for the number one company in the country. And that's a heck of an assignment for a 24 year old. Ah, uh, those lovely bubbles. The commercial ads have been embraced by the Smithsonian Institute. Next year, Alka-Seltzer plans to bring back some of the classic commercials for television, living proof that when one is asked, does it hurt? The answer surely is, only when I laugh. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Joe Rico, Channel 4 News, Burbank. From ABC News, this is World News This Morning. Now, from our world headquarters in New York, Mike Schneider. This is the 60th anniversary of Alka-Seltzer, one of the best-known remedies for a combination of headache and indigestion. The product actually was invented during a flu epidemic in 1928, but it wasn't introduced as Alka-Seltzer until 1931. You may remember some of its better-known commercials, like this one featuring a character called Speedy Alka-Seltzer. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief. Well, Alka-Seltzer made it to 60, the maker, Miles Laboratories, oh, what a relief that is. It's the economy this morning. Now, Jerry Dunphy, Jane Velez Mitchell, Carl Bell's brother, and Gary Cruz on sports. This is Prime 9 News at 8, voted Southern California's best newscast. Remember this? Stay with us. Time now for one last thing. Just enough time for a little guy named Speedy. Let your aching head and stomach hear this message from old Speedy. Alka-Seltzer, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. 
Speedy is celebrating the 60th anniversary of Alka-Seltzer. Quite a success story for a product that's guaranteed to fizzle. Alka-Seltzer has become part of our lives, and its commercials have even become part of our language and culture. Try it, you'll like it. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. No matter what shape your stomach's in. Hi, I'm Speedy, Speedy Alka-Seltzer. Speedy was happy. Speedy was always smiling. Uh, Speedy was selling them something without a hard pressure sell. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief. <laughs> plop, plop, 60 years, and it still fizzles. <laughs> That's it for this 8 o'clock broadcast. Glad you tried it. Hope you liked it. <laughs> One of the best commercials they ever made is coming back to TV. Speedy Alka-Seltzer may be 40 years old, but he's just as bubbly as ever. Flop, flop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Speedy Alka-Seltzer, America's popular animated spokesman, is back to help celebrate Alka-Seltzer's 60th anniversary. The identity of the man behind the voice has remained a closely guarded secret until now. But actor Dick Beale says when he auditioned for the part 40 years ago, the voice came naturally. Hi. I'm Speedy. Speedy was to be a salesman, yet Speedy was to be loved. He was to be trusted. And I just gave them what I thought was the correct sound. He gave me 30 seconds to decide what to do. And I just did it. In addition to Speedy, beginning this month, Alka-Seltzer will be bringing back several of their classic campaigns. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Cut. I like pepperoni pizzas. Do you like heartburn? Gentle. And the way he stuffs himself at his mother. You According to the company's current ad agency, these timeless ads gave everyone something to identify with. Waiter says, try this. you like it. What's this? Try it. you like it. But what is try it? you like it. So I tried it. Thought I was going to die. You've always been in a situation where you don't feel well, your stomach's upset, maybe you've got a headache, you've lived a little bit too much life. That's what the ads portrayed, and that's what people saw in them. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. No, Ralph, I ate it. Some commercials won't air because Alka-Seltzer was unable to negotiate a deal with the actors involved. But for Beals, seeing Speedy again will be like visiting a familiar friend. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief. The Speedy spots will run as long as the maladies linger on through the end of the cold and flu season. WRC-TV Washington. This is News 4 at 5 with Jim Vance, Doreen Gensler, Susan Kidd, meteorologist Bob Ryan, and George Michael Sports. Now, News 4 at 5. Coming up, it's been plopping and fizzing <laughs> for 60 years. Relief in a glass celebrates a big birthday with a classic look back. Try it, you'll like it. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. It plop plops and it fizz fizzes and its makers proclaim, oh, what a relief it is. is. Alka-Seltzer celebrates its 60th anniversary this year testament to the fact that American consumers bought the advertising as much as they bought the product. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. More colds, flus, headaches, tummy aches, and major league hangovers have squared off with Alka-Seltzer than with almost any other product. At last count, 100 billion effervescent tablets have rolled off the assembly line, and its spokesman, Speedy, is as important a figure in American advertising as the Pillbury Doughboy or the California Raisins. Alka-Seltzer's aim is pain relief, but its classic commercials go right to the American funny bone. Try it, you'll like it. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. No matter what shape your stomach's in, when it gets out of shape, take Alka-Seltzer. Next year, Alka-Seltzer plans to bring back some of those classic commercials for TV. We hope so. They were great. By the way, Alka-Seltzer was created in 1928 
by a newspaper editor who mixed aspirin, bicarbonate of soda, and lemon juice and fed it to his employees <laughs> during a flu epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> you ate it, Ralph. Wasn't that Alka-Seltzer? <laughs> I think so. They, they made some great commercials. That's it for us. Jim and I will be back in just half an hour. This is Channel 5, your 24-hour news source. Finally, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Most of you can probably finish that phrase, as Joe Rico reports. Besides offering relief to uh, queasy stomachs, Alka-Seltzer also helped change the face of advertising in America. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh! What a relief it is. More colds, flus, headaches, tummy aches, muscle aches, and Major League hangovers have squared off with the one-two punch of Alka-Seltzer since it came on the market back in 1931 during the Great Depression. At last count, more than 100 billion effervescent tablets have rolled off the assembly line in Elkhart, Indiana. Try it, you'll like it. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. While its principal aim was pain relief, its classic commercials and diminutive spokesmen did more. They entertained. The humor caught on like wildfire. Forget the pain, people thought. These commercials are great stuff for the funny bones. And so, a bit of Americana was born. No matter what shape your stomach's in, when it gets out of shape, take Alka-Seltzer. Let's face it, the American public consumed the advertising almost as much as they consumed the product. Plop, plop. This is, oh, what a relief it is. <laughs> Alka-Seltzer was born from a homespun remedy in 1928. An Indiana newspaper editor, of all people, concocted a mixture of aspirin, bicarbonate of soda, and lemon juice, fed it to his ailing employees during a massive flu epidemic, and relief. He showed his remedy to the chairman of a pharmaceutical company who ran with the idea and ran to the bank several times since. Ah, those lovely bubbles. The commercial ads have been embraced by the Smithsonian Institute. Next year, Alka-Seltzer plans to bring back some of the classic commercials for television, living proof that when one is asked, does it hurt? The answer surely is, only when I laugh. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Joe Rico for NBC News. <laughs> a little of history. Yeah, a trip down memory lane. That's in the program, remember? Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Well, tonight, we'll find out whatever happened to the voice behind those words when we track down Speedy Alka-Seltzer. All right, now for that other story of a for 60 years, well, one way Americans have been able to take aspirin, an occasional aspirin in a form that's both quick to get into your system and it won't irritate your stomach, has been an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Alka-Seltzer. Now, See if you can figure out what that has to do with this man as I show you tonight's Vital Signs report. Dick Beatles to see Mr. Owen. Tell him the Green Hornet sent me and don't mess around with the Green Hornet. <laughs> Dick Beals used that line in 1952 to get into an audition that would make him famous. I just put down what I thought was a salesman, lovable and cute and articulate, and I did it. If you don't recognize him after 212 TV commercials, perhaps it's because at four and a half feet tall, Dick Beals is still four feet taller than the most famous character he plays on TV. At 24 years old, Dick Beals became the voice of Speedy Alka-Seltzer back in 1952. The face that launched a hundred billion tablets. The ultimate, perhaps, in selling the sizzle, or should we say the fizzle? Because medically speaking, many pharmacists complain Alka-Seltzer has too much sodium. Bad for the blood pressure, you know. But where would the American vocabulary of phrases be without it? No matter what shape your stomach's in. Try it, you'll like it. But what is try it, you'll like it? Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. It's no coincidence that Alka-Seltzer and advertising go hand in hand. Alka-Seltzer started as a home remedy that was turned into those effervescing tablets by what was then called Dr. Miles Laboratories. But this was the early 30s, and the Great Depression wasn't the best time to launch any new product. So the company blew its budget on a series of radio commercials in Chicago. And right away, sales, like the tablets themselves,
began to bubble up. When Dick Beals joined the ad campaign in 1952, doing the voice of Speedy was an extension of his work as a radio actor and a prelude to his work today doing voices for cartoons. His height, four and a half feet, kept him from his first love playing baseball. It's also the reason he didn't want to accept roles on camera where he would be seen. No, because Hollywood would not let me do the kind of things that I wanted to do. I wanted, if I'm a college graduate, I want to do college graduate parts. And as far as Hollywood was concerned, me at four foot six, uh, you, you belong in a circus, and that's all you can do in Hollywood is to do part of a circus uh, act, and I wasn't going to accept that, not after uh, getting the education I had gotten. And if they had asked me to do anything else, I would have done it. And that's enough to give anyone a sour stomach. But although Dick Beale says he's never taken an Alka-Seltzer, the product has been good to him, and he still sings its praises every morning, just like the old days. Down, 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 the stomach through, round, 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 the system too. With Alka-Seltzer, you'll surely say, relief is just a swallow away. That's speedy. <laughs> That's great. That's great. What a nice guy. Now, if you're too young to remember Speedy, as I am, uh, <laughs> all right, I'm not, I'm not. Anyway, if you are too young to remember Speedy, you may have a chance to see him all over again. Alka-Seltzer has plans to revive the old Speedy commercials early next year. Dick Beals asks, can you spell residual? 